There's a ton to learn. You can go deep into a lot of different niches and a lot of, a lot of it's relationship based. What do you think you mentioned high level skills, which a really cool way to think about it. Are you looking at those high level skills as the development aspect or what other specific high level skills are you interested in? Yeah, I'm talking more about development. So being a deal maker, putting together complex projects. And if you think about what a development deal is, it's just a bunch of contracts that you daisy chain together, Mm -hmm. right? You make sure the county talks to the general contractor and you run all your numbers, you're a financial analyst, you're just getting all these professionals to sit at the same table and you get compensated for essentially starting that meetup. And there's risk, there's massive risk. But the thing about I like about development is you could build a three-story building or a 30-story building. From a developer's perspective, it's the same amount of work, but you make 10 times more. From the general contractor's perspective, it is 10 times more work because you have to build 10 times more floors, right? But from a developer's perspective, you still have just one one GC to talk to and one county rep, one city rep, one code guy. So that's got a skill set I'm focused on right now, but I don't know, five years from now, maybe I'm opening a lollipop factory in rural Kansas. Who knows? I like it. it. What barriers to entry are there to building skyscrapers? You're saying three stories, the same as 30 story. Is it just the person who puts the the deal together or is there some relationships that need to be built over time with the city or the local government or what yeah. other angles are there? I think there's massive barriers to entry and that's why the margins are so much fatter. This guy I'm seeing next week in Houston, he told me there's some competitors, but there's two of us in the city right now. Yeah. And there's massive barriers to entry. And I think there's two ways You can climb up rung by rung like I've been doing, but then sometimes you can skip a few rungs on the ladder by meeting the right person, the right person that will introduce you to the right people. All of a sudden, before you know it, you're sitting down with the mayor of of Houston, having dinner with them. Mayor of Houston has this vacant parcel of land he wants you to do a project on. He already knows the, the general contractor that you should work with. Before you know it, you're building a building and you didn't really, you didn't really plan it, right? It was all from knowing the right people. 